and welcome back to Metroid. After we got pretty much all of our items, and we, uh, you know, we got rid of Ridley, all that's left is Kraid. Did you just jump in midair for a moment? There is something you could do with that, which is <laughs> really interesting. Like, because of the the properties of the... Uh, when you pop out a Morph Ball, you have a slight chance that you can actually jump <laughs> out of it and make it like a, like a mini hop. <laughs> Huh. Ah, those frame perfect exploits. Mm hmm. Like, sure as hell, I can't abuse it, but hey, at least I showed it off. It's there. So, of course please. you can't. Of course you, you can't abuse it, Brian. You're, you're you you don't have the you don't have the skill to to take advantage of everything at sixty frame per second, maybe fifty. Mm -hmm. Not a third strike player. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that feels like an annoying thing we have to climb back up. Oh, anyway. What, what, what were you saying, Ben? I was gonna ask, so Ridley's not the main antagonist for this one? No. No. Has he, Ridley he, been the main antagonist of any Metroid game? Not really. No. Ridley is just either his own enforcer, or he's, you know, working with someone else, be it I Mother mean, Brain, Prime Mother Brain. One, technically speaking? Eh. <laughs> Yeah, really, he's just there, and Samus finds him, and he's like, "Oh no, I gotta fight you." Because again, like, because who was like the main bad guy of Metroid Prime One exactly? Yeah. There wasn't. I mean, I yeah, he just kind of stumbled into every villain in that game. Because like you think about it, like out of all like, oh yeah, that's me showing off how the grinding actually works and how you're supposed to do it, and I am not good at it. Like they made it way easier in later on games. Of course they made. Of course they made it easier. They gave you a dedicated room to give you all your shit. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Kraid. He is There's tiny. Kraid. Anyway, best way to actually find him is with the bombs. Like he's so tiny, he is here. I'm 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 used to giant a giant crate and I'm and I entirely blame the fact I was watching a speedrun of I want to be the guy earlier. Yeah, like Fair this motherfucker is like a hammer on cra hammer on cracky is a. Yeah, it's in, right here. He's just a little crate lit. The one that one I don't know. I don't there. know. It looks like Mighty the Armadillo is a deformed space cousin. That's all space armadillos. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And now down here, oh, no. this is where you get the uh, eating. Oh fuck you! Oh fuck! It's like, uh, how are you supposed to do this? Because it's like I'm I done. thought you were just supposed to roll into it. Oh. Oh. How are you supposed to roll up from up there? <sighs> so that's maximum health, right? Uh, yes. You can only hold up the six energy tanks because there's all there are actually more in this area, but they're at this point they're just pretty much like, oh hey, you got through this segment here. Uh, have a full heal. Well, in that game, you have like, yeah. isn't there like 20 some shit you get maxes in it? About 12-ish? I think they say 20. Around like, that, yeah. There is one game where it's 20, but 12 is like more than the medium. Yeah. Uh, I hear 20. It's like, I hear 20, and my first thought comes to uh, Zelda. Because Zelda yeah. did. Yeah, well, I think it's probably Zelda because of the two lines and stuff, yeah. Even if it's like something like forty, if you do to half them don't have to have and stuff, the double, double damage and stuff, or double defense stuff. Like here, you would, you know, in the remake would be you have the shine spark because you get it after grade and you just, you know, blast through all the way up here. Not here, no. You gotta shoot. And hope the god Samus doesn't get hit by the reappearing block or something else. I'm excited to fight the mother Brian. Get caught away, did I? Oh no. Oh boy. Alright, gentlemen, send a poet your mother brain trivia. Uh, did did you know that Mother Brain was featured in world renowned cartoon show K 
Captain N. Ah. Uh, uh, well, you know, not the crossover I was expecting. Where his where, 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 where a henchman were the Ackman wizard from Kid Icarus and uh, fucking oh, King was Hippo. A King, King Hippo for punch outs. Who was? God, what color was he? Green. I thought it was property was. I mean, I don't know. I, was, I never watched Captain N for good reason. Was he gray? Maybe gray, maybe. Enough. You think, you think Samus is an MP3 in her suit? Probably. Well, what music does she listen to? The theme of Samus Aaron. Just that on loop? I respect it. Yeah, just, just the Roran Hydra's like doing it. Maybe it, maybe it varies depending on what suit she has. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Concern how many times that suit gets damaged in her career. Exactly, yeah. She goes like, oh, she's been destroyed. Time for the playlist! God. Yeah, okay, there we are. There's the maximum health for every game. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Metroid caps at 700. Zero mission at 1300. Prime at 1500. Hunters at 800. Uh, Prime 2 at 15. Prime 3 at 15. Uh, Metroid 2 at 6. Samus returns at 11. Super at 15, other I'm at 990. Uh, Fusion at 2100, uh, Dread at 1300. Hmm. Consistency, what is it? Thy name is Samus Aaron. The only thing consistent is she keeps losing her power. And then she, um, she's progressively <laughs> becoming more of a by, 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 by the game. High ending of dread. Exactly. Yeah. I still need to play that game. It's good. All I know about it is like you get a cool suit at the end, and also there's a Virgil. Kind of. Kind. Yeah. Kind of. I don't remember. I don't remember Virgil uh, being responsible for Dante. I mean, they were born at the same time. You, you I said being jokes. responsible for Dante. Like, 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 being responsible as in this is my my origin story, or like, I'm the I took care you of you. Exist. Yeah. Nah, well, that, was, uh, that was Sparta. Well, presumably, the reason is, is just in this form specifically, yeah. He reason why Samus is basically a picture, just pretty much. Yeah, if you do decide to play Dread, oh, be prepared for an ass kicking. I mean, I, I know from the demo that it's hard, and you know that that's that's exciting, honestly. Mm. There's something I do know about Metroid. The games are kind of out of order. So where does that game take place? That's 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 Dreads. Uh, it's the end of the timeline for now. Yeah. Okay. Because current, yeah. Because it implies that I think it's Metroid One. Then it's, then it's, then it's Prime, and then Other M is after, sorry, it's just Prime, then 2, Super, Other M, Fusion, and then there's Dread it is. Yeah, you don't have to play Other M, in fact, don't. This is a lot going on that there is. Just don't You know what puts me off playing that game? Playing on a Wii remote? I, yeah, if I did decide to play Metroid, the Metroid series, the fact that the control scheme is just Wii remote sideways. Eh, eh you've lost me. It would have been better if they had the goddamn nunchuck. Yes. But they had Zelda on the time, for God's sake. But the no, they decided to do it to simplify the existed. controls. They did it to simplify the controls. Ugh. Prime 3 existed, wish... Prime 1 2 got, got the Prime 3 stream they did. Like, Trinity and shit. 
like there's being simple, but then there's you know not having a freaking analog stick to sensor in a 3D game. Don't forget the fact that you you point the Wii remote at the screen to aim in first person. Which is stupid. Fucking, yeah, aim for me, chief. Fucking, is it? it it's oh, which which ninja which ninja studio did it again? It was um, the ninja theory or team ninja. Uh, ninja theory. Team ninja. They're the same thing. No, they're not. They're both ninjas. All ninjas are the same to you, hmm? Yeah. Look, they 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 all wear the same thing, David. Because <coughs> again, what did they do as well? Was it was it the ones who did um, Daryl Live, or was that another one? Okay, I did. Like having Ninja Theory did Devil May Cry reboot. Yeah. I think. What did, I think the Team Ninja do Heavenly oh, Sword? Was that also Ninja that. Theory? Brian, we need we need yeah. your brain for a second. What? Well, what else did the other M developers make? Uh, wasn't it another Wii game? Because the thing is, I don't really know. Team Ninja. What have you done? They're alive. They're alive. They're alive. They did. Ah. Uh. That they're alive, people. They're alive, Ninja Gaiden, Neo. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say Ninja Gaiden is like. Because I, I'll keep a game and mixing up, like, is it Team Ninja or Ninja, Ninja Theory, is it who do that type of shit? We did it, because again, seven of is having named it is. Do Ninja Theory even make games anymore? They still exist. Like, I know they exist, but like, <laughs> are they active? They exist, but do they do anything? Ninja Theory, uh... Yeah, I, I laugh at the Wikipedia article for Team Ninja. Not to be confused with Ninja Theory. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah, they're part of the Xbox uh, umbrella now. Oh no. Oh. Up on the last game N Ninja Theory did was a game was a game was a game called Bleeding Edge. Ah, right, Senua Saga. I forgot they were working on that. Yes, yeah, so it's like Hellblade 2 is coming out next year, and then something come up called Project Mara. So they are still doing stuff. Indeed, and this is the part where Brian loses his mind trying yeah. to farm up the Hellblade. Their fourth game yeah. was DMZ Game Cry, it was. Reminder that every other Metro, other than these ones, uh, don't drop off uh, items. So it's only these ones. And the fact that you also need to fight these ones to open the door, which is kind of weird because as, you, as I think, as I just got back, I'm assuming I showed off that you could just avoid pretty much every all of them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, oh, no. I think this is probably what cost me because <laughs> uh, checking all the recording time of from start to finish, I beat this game in like an hour and six minutes. Ah. So I'm slow. pretty sure the six minutes came from me grinding off these uh, things because I don't like the fight against uh, Mother Brain here. It sucks. No one likes yeah. fighting Mother Brain in Metroid One. So I'm looking at the games that Team Ninja's on. I see Stranger Paris, Final Fantasy Origin, thinking, hmm. Oh yeah, they did make that one. And Marvel Lines Ultimate Lines Three. Yeah. I'm looking, huh? Bloody ring I can't wait to kill Chaos. Again? Again. It always happens. And Fire Emblem Warriors? Huh. Yeah, they, they co-developed some of the Warrior games. It's still kind of funky. They, they made other RAM and then they made the Warrior game and stuff. They made the Warrior game and stuff. There we team. go. Just, just hit her with all the missiles. Yeah, because you co-developed know, with Nintendo <laughs> SPD. I'm here, I'm just buddy mashing. Come on, come on, die already, die already, die already, die already. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> Pretty much, it's like, I don't, you know, these Rinkas take too many hits, or not not too many hits, they do a lot of damage and knockback. You got these freaking turrets firing lasers all over. It's just annoying. Oh, there you go. And there we go. I sped that up because it is... Honestly, I, I was sore. Yeah, it's an eyesore. Yeah. Yep. 
Bombs have escaped quickly. Mm-hmm. Because again, only this guy is Torian blows up pretty much a dozen. Yep, just just her base. Yeah, that's it. What in? Yeah, pl the plant crackers don't start until the next game. No, 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 no! It's super. It is a blow up. Super because you no come one likes back talking. To, uh, no one likes talking it. about two. But it's too happy though because the base is existing. Yet. I know, but no one likes talking about two because why? Why? Why play a Metroid on a game? Well, oh, of course, two also doesn't have an escape sequence. Yeah, it doesn't. You know, it's gotta be yeah. awkward. You go through, uh, you know, all the events of Metro Two. And it's like, oh well, uh, you know, to the players, like, oh, but I only played the first one. How'd you know that? Well, <laughs> it's well, just like heart syndrome. It's like other M sorry, It's like Samus had a baby. Like, what? Things again, like, like you look, look at it, like, excuse me, remember, Samus Returns existed, does it? Yeah, the better Metroid Two. Oh. So yeah, at some point the screen uh, just blows up. I'm assuming. Pray for the true peace in space. It's never gonna be peace, is there? No. Just ask Mega Man. Someone was like, "Go!" I got the second best ending screen. I'm happy. What's the yeah, first? The woman. In case you didn't know, it's been like. 30 plus years. I uh, one thing I find it funny about this is all the advertisements about like, oh, Samus, greatest dude in the galaxy. And all these hot chicks you're thinking. They just make Samus, Samus, a lesbian icon they did in the, in the 80s. Again, different years. times. Yeah. Different era. Yeah. Nah, the, th the, th the thing is, Samus was written ambiguously in the, in the, uh, manuals for all mm -hmm. regions explicitly because it was the 80s and it was the action movie thing. Yeah. Yeah. So again, you think Metro is this hardcore dude taking down the planet. But no, it's, uh, you know, she's a woman. It also doesn't help the name Samus sounds masculine. Yeah, because it was because Sam, which can't can be both male and female. No, th no, the U.S. actually. It's the U.S. Us. It's, a very, it's a very Latin way for uh, for for males. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Game Boy, uh, Game, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy. Yeah, Mr. Yokoi, Mr. Game Boy. Yeah. Mr. Game Boy, Mario Land, Metroid. Mr. Virtual Boy. The Virtual Boy. <laughs> I think the Wonder yeah. Swan. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, Wonder Swan, yeah. <laughs> The end. Yet, yeah, no. Ah, cute. Can I say it's weird that Metroid's got such a resurgence in Japan of all places? Which is kind of funny to think about because they normally did fuck up Metroid. Huh? They don't. And when you press part there, and because we got this, uh, we basically got a pseudo Justin Bailey. Good. Who the fuck is just? So basically, this this is New Game Plus. You have all your it's, items. It's not a who. The 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 code is. The passwords are generated pretty oddly. Mm -hmm. It just happens to spell Justin Bailey. Mm. Well, I mean, hey, it's a it's a unique color scheme, which I kind of like. You know, just green hair, pink leotard. What? 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 Is almost this, what, what, what is this? an alien. What is this? Lynn's secret co secret cousin or some shit? Space cousin. Anyway, if you actually, Tara? you know. No, I always said. You actually type it in. Nice. It spawns you here in Norfair. But with how much time on the clock? 255 missiles, which is the max amount. That's the wave beam in action. You know, basically just a damage boost. That's all it is. If only you can mix beams together. Uh, that's what crazy. Do until oh. super. Why, why would you cross the beams? This isn't Ghostbusters. Well, your power, Noel. Ugh. And why would we cross the beams? What, what if we had to fight the giant Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? Uh, I don't want to fight the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Not again. Again? I, well, I'm not going to ask. I'm not, I got time <laughs> yeah, Noel fought him in a fist fight. What do you mean? <laughs> I, All the I, I was eight years eight years old when the PS3 game came out. I fought him for hours. Ha! <laughs> oh, the good Ghostbusters game? Yeah. 
Jesus, fucking... You said eight, you, you, you ate something in PSU, and thinking, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keep forgetting how old that thing actually is. Yep. Remember, the PS2's retro, and the PS3's getting there. Yeah. Yep. Yowza. You hear that, Ben? You love retro gaming with your GTA San Andreas. What a weird sight I... that it is. <laughs> there, there's one meme. You know what? I need to find a meme real quick. One moment. It's weird. It's weird saying GTA 3 is retro. It is. Because it is. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? Not good. Not good enough. I have to. I have to go for the. Go for the jugular. Ben, Halo is retro. Up to what four? Uh. Uh, three ODST. That'd be a safe bet to start. I was thinking up to four because you know they're all over ten years old. Yeah, that's true, and they're all on the three hundred and sixty <laughs> or before. Uh, the only Halo games that aren't ten years old at the moment are five, which will get there in a few years. Oh, <laughs> Wars two. <laughs> And obviously infinite. My lord. It, assuming infinite makes it that far. It's like a proof when when, when ten years are up. But now is it? Oh man, I was not thinking about that, David. You, oh, Halo Five is going to be ten years old in a few years. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I've done, I've done my daily dose of chaos. Where's McCain? I'd loan you one, but my old man needs it right now. So uh, I have one. 